Hi, my name is Dane, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today, I'm going to be showing you some new additions SolidWorks has made to assemblies in 2016, with a focus on sub-assemblies. The first big change is in the reordering of components around or within a sub-assembly. Previously, you would have to hold down the Alt button to ensure that the component did not move into the sub-assembly but now the position of the pointer will establish where the component will be placed. If you hover over the name of the component, an arrow that is drawn down then left will indicate that the component will be placed within the subassembly. When you hover over the icon, an arrow that is drawn left, down, then right indicates that the component will be placed below the subassembly, but not within it. A new option within the mirror and pattern component features is the option to synchronize the movement of flexible sub-assembly components. The option appears at the bottom of the property manager for the component pattern features and within the mirror components feature the option is on the second page of the property manager under the create opposite hand versions command. When the option to synchronize the movement between flexible sub-assemblies is selected, Motion that occurs to one of the components will be patterned or mirrored to all of the components. So when I move any of the components, they will all move as one unit. If I select this patterned block here and made it to the original tower, only the selected tower and the seed tower moved, but the motion is still synchronized. A simple rebuild of the feature will fix any issues and all the components will again be moving from the same location with synchronized motion. I can now take these linearly patterned components and form a new subassembly with them by simply right clicking the feature in the design tree and selecting form new subassembly. After I did that, you can notice that my design tree has changed. I have a new virtual subassembly and the pattern feature is no longer at the bottom of the tree. The linear pattern feature got moved from the top level of the assembly and was converted to a local pattern within the new subassembly. New in 2016 is the Open Part drop-down box, which allows you to select various levels of sub-assembly or part to open. If I click on a part within a sub-assembly and hit the drop-down arrow next to the Open Part icon, a list of relevant files to open is displayed. From here, I can open the part or a sub-assembly. If I want to save my newly created virtual sub-assembly as an external file, I am now prompted with the ability to save all of the child components to external files at the same time. Conversely, if you make a subassembly virtual, you can also make all of the child components virtual at the same time. The last addition to SolidWorks 2016 that I'm going to show you is the Temporary Fix or Group Components tool. This tool used to be a subset of Move Components, but now has its own tool which can be accessed by right-clicking on a component in the design tree or right-clicking anywhere in the graphics area and selecting Temporarily Fix Group. This is a quicker way to access the tool now that it is separate from the Move Components Property Manager. So, in this video, I have shown you some additions SolidWorks has made to assemblies in 2016, specifically in the sub-assemblies. I have shown you the new reordering interface, the synchronized movement of flexible sub-assemblies option, the drop-down menu for opening files from the graphics area, saving enhancements to virtual sub-assemblies, and the separation of the temporarily fix or group tool from the move components function. If you liked this video, found the information useful, or want to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel.